All right, so in this video, I'll show you how to configure your Top Gun uh, GT robotic total station. Uh, this would apply to any other total station that Top Gun or Sukiya makes, of course, that is relatively uh, current, but uh, I'm configuring a GT without an RC5. So we'll go into configure, we'll go into survey. It's an optical instrument, so we'll go into optical configuration. We'll hit select from library. We don't have one to pick from. Yes, the factory kind of gives you the my robotic thing, but I don't like that. That's very generic. So we'll just hit add and we'll give it a name. I have a GT603 and I like to uh, indicate in my the name of my configuration that I'm connecting to it directly. So it's my Bluetooth connection. So that's why I call it BT. It's a robotic instrument, not motorized. Yeah, well, it is motorized, but it's beyond that. It's robotic, it's motorized and tracking capable. So that's correct. Next, it's a Top Gun, not a Sukiya. It's a GT series. Again, there's tons of them, but it really is a GT series that I'm doing. I dislike this foresight, backside, then instrument height uh, configuration that is now forced on pretty much everybody who is uh, installing the ins uh, software for the first time here. I change it to zeros because I never know what my foresight and my backside heights are going to be for the rod. And I also cannot predict uh, my height of the instrument. So I'll make them change zero. Obviously they're there for fixed height tripods, but that's not what I'm using. So uh, next, I am connecting to the a GT via the Bluetooth total station connection, not via the RC Bluetooth. So if you have an RC5 unit that you're driving the um, GT with, then you would want to make sure that it says RC Bluetooth, but I do not. Uh, I'm not using an RC unit, so I'm going to go with Bluetooth total station. Next, my search pattern for when the instrument loses track of you without you actually prompting it to search for you is 15 degrees by 15 i leave that be i like my turning speed to be at 64 degrees you can make it a little uh, faster or slower it really depends on uh, your preference i also like the tracking measurement to be fixed averaging just over the years it seems to have uh, proven itself a little bit better than standard next i'm typically doing uh, just uh, uh, forward or uh, single face observations if you want to do uh, direct and reverse on every measurement and this is something that I can you can change during the course of recording your data but direct is typically 90 uh, percent of the time that uh, I'm taking uh, side shots with that way I don't have to set my tolerances but so measurement method is direct next I like my uh, slope distance not to be displayed, but uh, actually view HD. So this is horizontal angle, vertical angle, horizontal distance. I know as a fact that the software installs and defaults to horizontal angle, vertical and slope distance. I don't like that. So again, my preference, but I like it to say HD horizontal distance. I am shooting a, to a prism typically, not to a sheet, not uh, reflectorlessly non-prism. I do have an ATP1 360 prism. If you have a different prism, you can pick them from a list here if you don't see the one that you want because you have a crazy prism of negative 59 or whatever it could be you can hit add and you can actually define that prism for you i'm not going to do that because i am picking the one that i want but just make sure that you pick the one that you want i know there might be a couple of atp ones the at the end of the day what matters is your uh, prism constant and you see that even if you have an atp2 or a builder series 360 uh, it's negative seven on uh, your choice, but again, because mine says on the prism that it's ATP1, I'm picking this guy uh, for the foresight and the backside. I'm not using a permanent backside. If I was using a permanent backside, I could make it say negative 30. If I was just leaving a, a single prism with a negative 30 on it on a tripod, but I am not, so we'll leave it say ATP1. Um, I do like my point guides on. Those are the lights that are flashing at you when you're um, when you set up your instrument and it's looking in your direction. It I think it, it defaults, the program defaults to off, but I like the point guides to be on. Um, continuous distance in reflectorless is a nice option because this allows me to uh, measure property, uh, not property corners, uh, building corners a little bit more reliably because um, 
it the the total station or the robot keeps shooting and we can just turn in and out of a corner to see when it stops tracking distance so auto target this is something that you don't have to turn on because it's a robot so it automatically does this next um i know one thing that um a lot of uh, users don't realize is when you're in this screen which tells you uh, the two modes where you can take measurements in total station or in topo or in um, stakeout this is defaulting to tracking uh, tracking is great because it's really quick uh, EDM measurements but it's only uh, accurate to the nearest tenth of a foot so if you leave it say tracking and then you're doing stakeout and you forget that you're in the tracking mode you cannot get closer than a tenth to your actual measurement so rapid is where i switch this to it's the nearest hundredth of a foot so three millimeter uh, rounding is uh, correct over here a hundredth of a foot rounding so you'll be able to get to your point to within a hundredth of a foot all right uh, next again i like my uh, topo to be shot every 25 feet by distance that's again just my preference but you can choose whichever one of these uh, fits your cause i'm typically not doing monitoring so this is not something that i worry about but if i was this is where the data would actually go i don't need a log for my monitoring all right my stakeout tolerances for a robot this is again my preferred method of doing this but i typically make these say uh, 0.3 three hundredths of a foot horizontal and vertical uh, no need to change my orientation this is correct so this is in out left and right um, from the rod um, referencing not the instrument well yeah referencing the instrument but my left is my left not the instrument's left so this is correct no need, no need to flip the reference next uh, when staking points uh, these are my preferred uh, values over here next again i don't worry about the stake heights um you see that by default it it, it require or well it set the edm mode in the quick measurement to tracking and i'll change it to rapid uh fine is okay it's a little bit slower more accurate rapid is a little bit faster but still the accuracy is very similar all right next i like my icons to be on when i'm finishing with my stake positions we'll hit next now, once again same argument needs to be made if your software allows you to store point numbers as uh, alphanumeric characters then this might be okay uh, if you cannot have alphanumeric characters in your point numbers you may want to add a constant to your stake position something like an outrageous number hundred thousand and then you know that all of your stake positions are always going to be in the hundred thousand and above range but i can handle um alphanumeric characters so i'll leave it say underscore stk all right next um there's really no more the only other thing that i always mention is display cur coordinates after measurement is not a bad choice to make if you want to see um uh, what your previous measurement actually looked like and what you recorded it is if you want to change its uh, uh, its um, code or description this might want to be checked if you are okay with just uh, uh, um, defining your code before you take the measurement and uncheck this and it'll let you do your topo in a little bit faster way um, all of the defaults otherwise stay put and i never have a reason to uncheck any of these all right green check once again green check over here now i have a gt 603 bt in here when i hit the green check here now i can go into connect and switch my configuration to optical and uh, hit connect and at this point i do not have an instrument set up but if i had an instrument set up it would will look for that bluetooth uh, instrument in the vicinity uh, let me choose it and then hit connect there are typically no pin numbers on any of the top gun or so key instruments and uh, should just connect and it should inherit all of the settings that we just went through all right if you have any questions or comments leave them below